Hi, this is Warner with Warner's Tree Surgery. It's February 23rd, 2017, and I'm out looking at a, a grapefruit tree today in Mesa. And this is the kind of the tail end of the story on these trees. Uh, this tree has had the top removed because it uh, succumbed to gamosis. And the new leaves are just starting to pop. Uh, and as you can see, many of the older leaves, and most of them have fallen on the ground, but the ones that are left are also deformed except for the brand new leaves. Now, what's happened to this tree is that five or six years ago, the Asian citrus leaf miner moved into the valley uh, and that particular insect is from Vietnam originally. It has no natural predator and it breeds up to 14 times a year. And it has been depleting the reserve cells of this tree and almost every other tree in the valley. Uh, and when the reserve cells are depleted, the leaves can't make their natural occurring insecticides, the skin of the fruit cannot make its natural occurring insecticides. And as a result of that, we now have problems not only with the leaf miner, but with a number of other citrus pests that normally would be contained. They'd stay in the tree maybe for a couple of years and then something else would move in and eat them. But now we've got an epidemic of, of uh, insects that are destroying the citrus trees. And this is kind of the last stage. As the reserves are depleted, the roots can no longer protect themselves from fungus. And the soil-borne fungus, which is usually held at bay for 120 years, takes over and it's usually the top that dies out first from that. Also, the trees are more susceptible to a hard freeze, uh, soil-borne fungus and, and insect damage. So what we do to correct this, uh, and everything you need to know to correct this problem is in the description of the video if you're looking at this on YouTube. And if you're watching this video on my website, it will be at the, the bottom of the page you're watching the video on. But basically, we're gonna get rid of the insects, we're gonna get the water right, and we're gonna get the fertilizing right, and we're not gonna make things worse with improper pruning. In addition to that, in this case, a couple of times, I will come out here now and in three months, and I'm going to inject into the tree some chemicals which will kickstart the energy production of the leaves and uh, cause the tree to also make its own antifungal uh, chemicals. Okay, so I do that now and I come out in three months and do it again. Now, I want you to look at this particular little leaf. This leaf is maybe, I don't know, two or three days old, something like that. But if you look at the larger one, the one I'm centering on, it's already been damaged by insects. And as a result, that leaf will be stunted all of its life. 
Here's one. Uh, that was started to grow. A bug got on it of some sort. And as a result, it got deformed and it didn't grow. So one of the things that I do is I teach the my customers how to prepare the tree for the new growth. So every January or the 1st of February, uh, whether it needs it or not, you spray the trees for bugs and you get as many bugs out of the tree as you can so that the new leaves can grow to full size. In addition, because probably the, the neighbors aren't gonna be spraying theirs, you have to learn how to watch your trees because the bugs will come back and when they do, you have to spray again. So all this is laid out, again, either in the description, if you're watching it on YouTube, or on my website, if you're watching it on uh, the website, it will be at the bottom of the page the video's on. Okay, so that's it. Uh, this is Warner. If you got any questions, give me a call. The number is 480-969-8808. Thank you very much.